Hey guys. Sorry about that. Um, so today we'll be doing a rainbow room collection. I'll be showing you the bracelets that I've made and the rubber bands that I have. Um, so we are like at the lower part of my desk. Oh. Oh, That's where I keep my rainbow room stuff and then right. Mother. Yeah, so, awesome. okay. <laughs> so right here you can kind of see this part. This is what I keep my bracelets in, which I will do the like collection part of that at the end of this. Um yeah. So right here you can see I have my loom and the hook. This is the hook and the loom. And this is my loom. I have it like straight because when I have it like it's normal length, like where one is longer than the other, the middle one, then my box, my rubber bands, and my loom doesn't all fit in this like little crease that I have in my desk. Um, but if it's together, it fits literally like perfectly. I can find the peg to be squeezed in there. Um, what is that? Oh, it's a chair. <laughs> um, so whenever I want to make a bracelet, I just pop it out. I don't need it. I don't need it. Then it's like the actual one. I'll just put all that down here. Actually, you know what? Keep it down here. Awesome. You're going underneath my desk. Put this in there, guys. I gotta put on my glasses. Do you like my little thing here? Of course you do. Sorry. Okay, so this is the bracelet, the wound stuff. Yeah. So this is my container. For my rubber bands. I don't have one of those ones where like you put the loom in the center. I didn't want one of those ones because that minimizes how much um, rubber band storage that you have. So I wanted one of these ones where it has all three of those. This is from Michael's. I've got my loom from Michael's. I've had it for a couple months now. Um, yeah. So it goes like this. And you open it up. I need another container because I have some colors that are like all together and I want them to be separate. Like, I can so call it OCD for this, but I want my S clips and my C clips separate. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm weird with that. So, this container has one big compartment. And 16 little compartments. One full bag of brand new, brand new rubber bands takes up two small squares and of course just the one big square. Um, I only have full packs of three colors. I don't really buy the rubber bands that often because I also don't make the bracelets that often. Uh, um, but yeah, so in the big compartment I have the Rainbow Loom brand teal rubber bands. So it's right here. And then right below that, I have all my clips. I still wish I had an easier way to film this, but yeah, I'll just do this. Hopefully, nothing falls out. Okay, so I have my turquoise, my clips. These are like the instruction manuals that come with like the off-brand ones. Um, right here is my pinks. I have dark pink, light pink, and like a hot bright pink. And then in these two, I have a full pack of white. And right here, I have see-through purple and regular purple. And I'm going back up here, right beside this, I have see-through yellow and regular yellow. And beside that, I have a full pack of neon green. And then I have kind of like a dingy 
lighter green and then I have dark green. I mean, I think that's what, yeah. Then beside that I have like seven blacks. So I'm like so out of black. I need a new pack of black. And then in this puzzle compartment I have all my other blues, which is like a sky blue, periwinkle, and dark blue. And I need to get separate containers for those. Going back up here to the top, I have red, light orange, and like bright orange, and then um like a burnt orange. And then here, these are not hair elastic, they look like it, but it's clear on one side and black on the other. And then in the same pack, orange on one side and clear on the other. And then this last set, I have my glow in the dark ones. And there is glow in the dark purple, glow in the dark peach, and glow in the dark green. So that's what's in my, like those are the rubber bands that I have, and I do need them to paint them badly. Spell I asked for one for Christmas. Okay. Next is my um, bracelet. So they're just in this like little blue container, just magnetizes like that. Sorry. So you open it up and I have it's just filled with bracelets. Um I have how many starbursts? I have four starbursts. No. Three starbursts, sorry. I did have four, but I made one for a friend that I well I didn't make it for her, but she wanted it, so I gave it to her. So this is the one that I this is the bracelet that I last made. This is my newest bracelet. It is black on the outside with neon green and white starbursts, and then the extension is neon green and white. And it's a lot more bright neon green in person. Really pretty green. Um, then this one is made entirely out of glow in the dark. So it has my glow in the dark purple, glow in the dark peach, and glow in the dark green. The outline is green glow in the dark. Then the starbursts alternate from peach to purple um, starbursts. <laughs> And like the cappings in here are green. And the cappings on this one is the opposite color. So like the green starbursts have white cappings on if you saw that. And the white starbursts have green cappings. And then this was the first bracelet that I ever made. It is this starburst bracelet and it is black outline and then it's rainbow on the inside. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet. I skipped indigo of course because I didn't have dark blue at the time. And then the um, extension is just white. So I'll put those into here. Hmm. Next I have a zippy chain bracelet but the extension broke. I have to make it again, but it's just a rainbow zippy chain. I have red, orange, opaque yellow, see through yellow, um, light green, lime green, see through blue, peri, no, sky blue, periwinkle, dark blue, see through purple, and opaque purple. And then the like outline is black, and then the extension was white. So it was kind of similar to my rainbow starburst. Next, I have three fishtails. I have this see through purple, see through blue, and white. This was one of the first ones I made. Then I have this one, which reminds me of fire. It is see through yellow, orange. It's my burnt orange and my red. This one's like my fire, and this one's like my ice. It is see through blue and white. And I did have a hexafish made, but I accidentally snapped it, so don't talk about that. And then I have one triple single. It's all my see-through colors. So I have my see-through blue, see-through purple, and see-through yellow, and it's just alternating extension. And the, like, what's conjoining all of them is my clear on one side and black on the other. And then I think this is the heart one. It might be the diamond one. Um, but it's one of the skinnier bracelets, but it's just rainbow. I like rainbow. It goes red, pink, orange, 
see-through yellow, opaque yellow, light, sorry, light green, dark green, periwinkle, see-through blue, sky blue, and dark blue. And then there's my see-through purple and regular purple. And then the extension is my see-through blue with a white one right there. And my last one is an inverted fishtail. I really liked making this one. It is white, white, and then rainbow, and it has enough rubber bands to go through the rainbow twice. So red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Then it goes again, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. And it's two whites in between each color. So yeah, so that was my Rainbow Loom collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Oh, I hate my glasses. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and see you guys next time. Oh. Bye.